Alright, year 10. <clears throat> Another video looking at last year's half yearly. Question 2. This time we've got a graph line with this equation. A couple of things to understand. Um, firstly, uh, the when this sort of thing happens, the x values are what's called the independent variables and the y value depends on whatever the x is so that's dependent variable and so what we need to do is find out what goes in these boxes here depending on what is in these boxes here so we start with uh, negative 1 and put it in here that would be y equals negative 2x so that's negative 2 times what's in the x negative 1 and then we've got to subtract 2 from that now that's negative 2 times negative 1 is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 so when x is negative 1 y is 0 negative 1 0 is right there Next one we do um, uh, when x is 0. y equals negative 2 times x times 0. And we've still got to subtract 2 from that according to the equation. Now negative 2 times 0 is 0. Minus 2 equals negative 2. x is 0. y is negative 2. Okay, next one. 1. y equals negative 2 times 1. And subtract 2 from that. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And subtract 2 from that is negative 4. So when x is 1, y is negative 4. Then lastly, when x is 2, negative 2 times 2, 2 for x this time, and we've still got to subtract the 2 from that. And negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and minus 2 equals negative 6. So when x is 2, y is negative 6. And we have our points. There we go. We can keep the line going. That's okay. Let's make sure it's accurate. There we are. Graph the line, fill in the table. Done. Okay, now, what I haven't done yet is paste and express the rest of the question. So, let me just find that. Here we are. Oh, it's question three, that's why. Okay, put question two and three together. That's okay. Let's have a look what we've got to do here. Under number line above, plot and label points X and Y. So X is 2, 2. Do them in red. 2 and 2. There's our X. Oops label as X Y is negative 6 negative 2 negative 6 negative 2 and that's our Y and join the line segment okay shall do 
line segment x to y, y to x. There we go. Done. And the space below explain why the line segment x y is either parallel or perpendicular. Neither. Uh, to the line drawn in question two, which we've already done, use gradients is the key. And why is that? Because it's all down to the gradients to determine whether it's parallel or perpendicular or neither. So by the looks, don't do that. By the looks, it looks perpendicular. So it's Yep, looks perpendicular. Um, parallel lines have the same gradient. And perpendicular is inverse and change sign. And neither is obviously neither of those. Okay, so it all comes down to same gradient. This one inverse gradient with a chain sign. So it all comes down to gradient. Whether it's all the any of these. So we better look what the gradient is. Well, for the one that existed already, this one. We've got, from this equation, we can work out the gradient of this one. Because, uh, let's see, y equals negative 2x minus 2. So the line 1, y equals negative 2x minus 2. That's in the gradient intercept form, which means that this part of it, the number before the x, is the gradient. So mx, m is gradient, is negative 2 for our first line. Let's have a look uh, at the gradient of the new one, rise over run. And well, we can do that by using the points. So line 1, gradient negative 2. And we should be looking for inverse chain sign. And uh, so change sign will make it plus two, inverse would be plus a half. That's what we're looking for. We'll just see if that works. If that's the case, then they're perpendicular. Certainly doesn't. Yep, certainly not parallel, that's for sure. Okay, let's go with rise over run. Rise is x, difference in x. Sorry. Difference in y over difference in x. Okay, difference in y. Subtract 2 minus minus 2. And that's the rise. What's that equal? 2 minus minus 2, that's 4. And the run, that's rise. Run, difference in the x. 2 minus minus 6. That's 8. Yep, so the rise over run is 4 over 8. which simplifies it to a half. And so that matches this one, what we said. It's got to be to make it perpendicular and certainly does look at right angles. So that in by observation and by we're doing the maths, we get the fact that it's um, perpendicular. So you need to know about this. Parallel lines, same gradient. Perpendicular lines is the inverse of the original 
gradient with the change sign. And the inverse of negative 2 is negative a half. Then you change the sign to a half. Okay. Now, I think that's it. Thank you.